It's Wednesday the 5th of April 2023 and we are here at Walt Disney World. Oh, it's so lovely to be back. Yeah. Um, if you uh, do keep track of what we're up to, um, you will know we, we're only just here. Yeah, we were here in February. Um, we had one day in the parks and we went on the Disney Wish, um, which was absolutely amazing. So if you've not seen that trip, it is on our channel. Um, and yeah, we didn't have much of a break before we came back, but this is the time of year we would normally come. We uh, we usually come in the Easter holidays, uh, along with everybody else in the world, it seems. But uh, yeah, it is super busy, um, but we do have some little tricks and things that kind of um, save us time and make sure we get done everything that we need to as well. So um, yeah, today we are off to Magic Kingdom. We are off to Magic Kingdom. Um, <laughs> a lot of changes have been happening at Magic Kingdom. Um, yeah. The brand new Tron roller coaster is open. Yeah. Not sure if we're going to like it. No idea. It officially opened yesterday um, and we have actually bought a lightning lane for it so that we could choose the time because when you buy an individual lightning lane, um, you can choose the time rather than wait for the next available one. So uh, we wanted to do it kind of when it, the sun sets. We thought that would be quite cool yeah. and like it'd be like see it lit up and everything. So um, yeah, we decided to to buy one. It was $20 each before yeah. tax. Surge pricing, um, most busy time of the year yeah. equals highest price. Yeah. But it is our first time. So it we is. are treating ourselves, but yeah. we won't keep doing that. Will no, we? no, it's just for our first time. But um, yeah, we're very excited about Tron. Um, we've also bought um, Disney Genie Plus today as well. Um, more for the fact, obviously, it's really busy and uh, Magic Kingdom is obviously very ride heavy. Um, so we decided to do that. Surge pricing today has meant that that's been $35 each before tax. Again, not something we're going to carry on doing. No, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we just decided to do it today. Um, really make the most out of today. We are going to do a, a split day. So we're heading out for rope drop and then we are going to come back to the resort and then head back out tonight and there's something very special happening tonight as well happily ever after is yeah, back, um, back yeah do, do you know what enchantment really did grow on us we've got yeah. some very very special memories co connected to that nighttime show mm -hmm. but um if you've ever seen happily ever after you know why it would be our favorite evening show and yeah. we're so excited to see it tonight yeah so excited um before we head off to magic kingdom though we will decide show you what we decided to wear today so today I'm wearing a cake-worthy princess dress and um, I've got um, Skechers shoes on which are super comfortable. Um, I'm, today I'm wearing my uh, princess ears which I got from Shop Disney and I'm going to take my Stitch lounge fly bag as well. So I have gone a little bit Mickey Mouse today. The shirt um, was from Primark, uh, as were the denim shorts actually, they were both from Primark. The trainers are Skechers, comfy, memory foam ones, and I have uh, gone with my classic ears. I'm gonna take my Disney Parks lounge fly as well, and um, we are risking it by not taking umbrellas or pack mats, aren't we? Yeah. But the weather has given a, a lovely, glorious day, so if it does uh, have a little shower or anything later, we are just gonna probably dash into a shop park yeah. or something like that. Um, but it is now uh, 20, oh, almost 25 to eight, um, it was it is a half eight that it opens this morning yeah. for the early entry. So um, we've got quite a little bit of time this morning, haven't we? We're yeah. quite prepared. But we are going to go and head over to the bus and we will see you at Magic Kingdom. <laughs>
love uh, Let the Magic Begin. Like, it's the best way to start the day. And they've changed it. Yeah, we had no idea that they've changed it. Obviously, um, it was for the 50th anniversary of the last version, wasn't it? Yeah. Which has kind of finished now. So we weren't, I don't know why we didn't think it would change. I think we thought it was going to go back to the old version. Yeah, I think so. But they've had new outfits and new music and everything. It was really cute. Really cute. I do miss all of the characters coming out. But yeah. it was cute to have um, the sort of Pathfinder and um, Nibine and Tiana and Rapunzel and Flynn as well. Was so yeah, cute. So cute. in the hub and uh, also uh, caught a bit of the Dapper Dance as well. Uh, we, we've come back down um, to uh, uh, see Mickey, so we're going to go and see Mickey and then um, yeah, we might watch the early Friendship Fair show and uh, it won't be long before our Space Mountain Lightning Lane either. So uh, yeah, uh, let's go and see Mickey and then um, yeah, maybe see what else there is to do. Good to see you. <laughs> now we've heard that you're such a good magician, you even made a magic camera. Is that right? Yeah, that's so cool. So cool. <laughs> oh. Uh. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> Do I really have Mickey? Just like Minnie's. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we haven't seen Mickey yet today. We're going to go and find her. Yeah, we need to find Minnie. Yeah. You know where she is, right? We don't know where Minnie is. She is in the circus. She is. Yep. Yeah. We need to go and find her, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catch the train. You get off in Fantasyland. It's yeah. just to your right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you got it. So that experience meeting Mickey was so cute. It's something it we didn't do on our last trip and yeah. then we kind of regretted it, didn't we? Yeah, we thought we were coming to say goodbye to him anyway and then we ended up going to Epcot instead of coming back into Magic Kingdom. Um, but yeah, it was so nice to see him like back in his like little magician outfit and everything. So cute. Yeah. They have got the automated camera uh, system in there, which we had heard about and then kind of forgot. Yeah. Um, but we've never done that, have we, in there? No, no, not here. We did the automated camera at Animal Kingdom on our last trip. Um, but yeah, it turned out really well. Yeah, the cast member in there was amazing. Yeah. Very, very good with the interactions, plus making sure that you got the photos and then double checking that you definitely ended up um, sort of scanning to make sure you got your photos at the end as yeah, well. Yeah, that um, cast member is called Ginger and she was so lovely and so, yeah, lovely. so magical. So yeah, it was just, it was great. Loved yeah, it. lovely. Um, we are going to go to the first um, performance of the Magical Friendship Fair. Yeah. Is that what they're calling it now? Yeah, I, I think so. That. <laughs> um, but that is in front of the castle. We're going to head down there and then um, we might head over towards Tomorrowland. Yeah. Um, and see what's going on. Maybe a people mover. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so far this morning it's just been really, really magic. Yeah. <laughs> issues with the Friendship Fair show so they didn't actually get to perform it but they still did come out and sing the song and we still got to see all the characters um, but we are going to go back and watch it aren't we? Yeah I think it's on again at 10 past 11 so we're going to try and uh, uh, watch that one if they fixed everything. 
Um, we have got a Lightning Lane Space Mountain at 10.45, um, so we're in about half an hour's time. So we're gonna go and get a coffee, and maybe go on the People Mover, because I think it is only a five minute wait. So um, yeah, we might do that. Go on Space Mountain, and then yeah, we time for, uh, yeah, take two for Friendship Fair. intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Borak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. I heard Epcot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny People Mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Borak. Mountain, even though obviously we had a lightning lane because the, um, the standby line was 140 minutes when we got on it, so it probably did take around half an hour with the lightning lane. Um, but yeah, it was so good! So good! Yeah, I love yeah. being at the back, I love being at the back as well. Um, yeah, and we finally got to watch the uh, Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair, um, which was really cool as well. It's they've changed it again slightly and um, to kind of be more like it was before, but with the new songs and like even newer outfits as well so like we really like that didn't we? it was so, so good and we yeah. didn't really have to wait long for a space as well no it was yeah it was uh it afterwards when people find out something's happening obviously that's when it gets crowded so here's where just checking times and just keeping an eye on the app um we've come to watch the parade um if we it's now quarter past 12 the parade actually started in frontierland like 15 minutes ago um we've come back right to the the start of uh, Main Street and there's tons of space around here. Loads yeah, of loads, space. Loads of space. So um, yeah, so if you're thinking, oh, you're going to miss it or, you know, if you get stuck in a queue, um, it is worth just coming down to the end of the parade route and um, yeah, trying to find a space and not just going where everyone else is. So but yeah, I just, I can't wait for this parade.
way back from our first ever trip on the, uh, on the balcony. Um, we did um, we did use the mobile app just because we wanted to double check that they were definitely were going to do this pizza gluten free and dairy free. So we did have to queue and then we were given a pager to come back and uh, get it when it was ready. So it is here now. It looks so good. So that is the uh, cheese in a inverted commas pizza and then we got a side of fries and then we just asked for a couple of cups of water um, and that came to just under 18 dollars for all of that um, so we're very very happy that we're going to tuck into this and then uh, it should be time for our next lightning lane which is for Big Thunder Mountain. Very nervous. Yeah, yeah, getting a bit nervous now. Um, hopefully, we'll love it. Do you want um, me to keep quiet about who and was like? <laughs> I might want to like you again. 
I don't know what's happened to me. Uh, I'm not going to get too cocky though because, um, you know, we'll probably have Toy Story Mania as well and I don't need to be winning that. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to eat this and then, yeah, we need to go and get on trot. without being too intense so uh yeah we can't wait to get back on it we did actually get a virtual queue um at the one o'clock um kind of opening um so we we are hoping they do get to our group they might not but we are hoping that they get to our group uh, so we can ride it again yeah the uh, the lightning lane was super quick it only took about 15 minutes yeah um obviously the virtual queue is a lot longer than that so we'll see if they call us um, before park close, but hopefully, because hopefully, we love to get back on it again. Yeah, so and now we know what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. Um, now we've uh, got another special thing to do, uh, which is to go and watch Happily Ever After. Um, so we're going to go and find a spot for that, and uh, yeah, we just can't wait for that as well.
It was so amazing, like just as good as I remember it. Yeah, just the sheer volume of fireworks, the intricacy of the fireworks that link to the projections, that link to the music, that link to the story. Yeah. It's just, it, there's just, it can't be replicated. No, it's just so good. Yeah, there's just something special about that show. And uh, yeah, we just, we're so happy that it's back. And we just had massive smiles for the whole time. Had a little tear. Um, yeah, it, it was just so good. It's so welcome, isn't it? Um, and yeah, we're having such a good time. Um, we've still got time left though. Uh, part doesn't shut until 11 o'clock. Um, they um, are very close to calling our boarding group for um, Tron. Um, so we may be able to get on it. Um, so we're just gonna wait a little bit longer to see if it gets called. Um, also, we do have a lightning lane um, because we booked Pirates of the Caribbean and it's been down most of the day. So we have got an extra one. Um, so if we've got time, we will try and use that as well. Um, yeah, we just had such a fun day. Yeah, we packed a lot in. Yeah. We did try and maximize the Genie Plus, but obviously we did want to catch the shows and things as well. Yeah. So um, yeah, we have just used our um, flying carpet yeah. uh, lightning lane, which is one of her favorites. I mean, it was a walk on anyway, but we yeah. still used the, the lightning lane. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna head back over to Tomorrowland. Yeah. Hopefully we get on Tron one more time, and if not, we will head and try and use our uh, multi-attraction like the main for Big Thunder Mountain yeah. we've got that. back in the room now we have had a very jam-packed full-on um, day in Magic Kingdom yeah. but it's been so so fun but we're very very tired now aren't we? yeah um, it's kind of been relaxing at the same time we've not rushed anywhere um, and we even had time to come back to a resort for a little chill as well um, but yeah it's been such a good day like doing some of our favorite things but also doing some new things as well which yeah. has been really cool and returning things happily ever after yeah um, yeah it's been such a lovely day we definitely needed the genie plus a day wait times were absolutely crazy for yeah. everything not just the really popular rides yeah um, so we did make the most of that we even had our multi experience one from the closure from pirates which we didn't yeah. actually use in the end no um, but we did get back on Tron yeah. light cycle run <laughs> with uh, the virtual queue um, we got one more go on that and it was absolutely amazing wasn't yeah. it yeah um, it's gonna be hard but favorites from today um, that go on Tron that we just had yeah the first go on Tron was amazing. Obviously our first experience, didn't know what to expect. Um, second time on Tron, we got a front row. Yeah, it's a game changer. The yeah. front row is absolutely amazing. It really just levels up the whole ride. Um, so yeah, um, it, we absolutely loved it the first time and we really did love it the second time. So uh, yeah, front row is definitely the way to go if you can do it. Um, yeah, that's my favorite from today as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that is it for our Magic Kingdom day. Um, yeah, uh, do uh, keep your eye on the channel to um, have a look for our other days as well. Um, we are um, probably gonna vlog one day in each park and a few extra bits and things as well and our um, room tours and resort tours and reviews and that kind of thing. So if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe and put those notifications on and if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a like and uh, yeah keep in touch with us either here on
on YouTube or over on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.